talking, joined right now by pop expert Paul Gambaccini for the lowdown on the man uh, behind the Michael Jackson image. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning, Richard. At uh, ten million dollars, uh, yes. ten million pounds, ten million seventy million dollars on a That's new right. video. That's right. Uh, an almighty amount of hype. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think this record will be remembered as the record that the record company most wanted people not to hear before they bought it. Usually, <laughs> you have a week's airplay before stock goes into the shops. Not this time. Stations were stopped from playing it, and even now that they can play it, now that it's in the shops... Stations were stopped from playing it. How can they do that? Oh, they have injunctions. Copyright. Remember, copyright uh, keeps you from playing something that's not available for airplay. You see, so now, even though it's out in the shops, stations can only play two tracks in a single hour. Now, I think there are two reasons for this. One is the companies are genuinely concerned about home taping and thus losing sales. But the other thing is they don't want you to hear it too much before you buy it. They want you to buy it, knowing that people are curious about Michael Jackson. And it's almost similar, like last month, when the Madonna movie, Who's That Girl, was put on in hundreds of cinemas across America before any of the press had been allowed to see it. Mm. The company knew that people would consume it, at least hopefully, at the beginning, before the word got out. Now, of course, the word may eventually be that this is a great album, but there are going to be literally millions of people who mm. buy this album before they've even heard it. Well, let me tell you that USA Today, America's most popular selling newspaper, have reviewed the album in full. Uh, here we are inside uh, the back page today. Uh, their piece entitled, naturally enough, a little bit like Gary Imlax, really, the ever-changing Jackson. Their verdict, it won't be the bestseller of all time, but it's a very good album indeed. Well, of course, you can't expect the poor chap to match the last one. I mean, the number one album of all time. Thriller. Yes. It sold at the rate of hundreds of thousands of copies every week for 18 months. Now, that's a bit much to expect for this one. So, in a sense, is this why there's the mystique that they've built or tried to create? Uh, well, Michael Jackson, what a strange character, Gary was telling us. <laughs> well, you know, speaking as someone who would not change his name for show business, I think it's very sad that someone found it necessary to change his face. You know, this man's head has come under the hammer so often now, he must feel like an auction block. Uh, what, what is going on here? I think he's trying to create himself Not as only a living his head, art form. But it would, it would appear his skin too. International beige, I think, was the uh, phrase yeah. Gary well, called. Well, yes, he has, in, in an attempt to become the modern mass man, he has become raceless and sexless. Neither black nor white, neither straight nor gay, male nor female. Indeed, that little clip from Bad, it looks very much like some of Sister Janet Jackson's recent videos. Mm -hmm chambers to sleep in as well, and plastic surgery and best friends with a llama. Are these just rumours, or is there any foundation in them at all, do you think? Well, the fact that there are photos of everything you're talking about indicates there's some foundation to it. I don't like to speculate about personal people's private lives, but I can't help make a comparison with Stevie Wonder, who I saw in concert at Wembley last night. You see, people sometimes say, well, it's inevitable that Michael turned out weird because he was a star at the age of nine, when I Want You Back first hit the American charts. But in fact, here's Stevie Wonder, who had a number one album, as well as single, when he was 12 years old. And there he was last night, a normal man, still performing for the people without the benefit of magical tricks or uh, some kind of animals on stage mm. or anything like that. I mean, he was just doing the music. See, so you don't have to go nutty. But, but, but at the end of the day, Michael Jackson still makes great music, doesn't he? And he's still an extremely good dancer, as we saw. Well, he's a brilliant talent, you know, and uh, he does owe us nothing. You know, he's given everything any man could give. If he wanted to retire now, he could. Unfortunately, he feels he's got a... Could he, he though? I wonder. I mean, where does it all end? Well, uh, hopefully it doesn't end tragically. Uh, you know, some people, uh, I think of the Japanese author Mishima, who felt he had to make his body an art form, but as you age, you decay. And uh, with Mishima, that led to tragic consequences. I don't know what Michael Jackson's going to do. You know, how much longer can you knock yourself about? Mm. Reverend mm. John Smith is still with us as well. You're quite a U2 fan, aren't you? What do you think yes. about Michael Jackson? Well, I, I think we've heard a lot of sense, and I worry about it because, to me, Michael Jackson may be a phenomenon, but he's still a human being. Yes. And I guess that's my fixation, is every person I look at is a human being. That's why the bikers at one end and the university students at the other for me in my work. And I, I ask the same question. I can't see how a man can be pursuing what he is, the fantasy he is. And not in the end, not only destroy himself, but no doubt he must have people who love him too. And to try and get to Michael must be an extraordinary experience if you're in his inner circle of friends, if indeed he has them. Because sometimes you wonder whether that's part of the problem, that his own life support systems are so removed 
that he has to do this to try and somehow hype himself out of his sense of loneliness. Have I think he's quite paranoid. Have I have my friends take him on a show, uh, on a sightseeing tour of London, and he was so quiet and reserved and polite mm. that when the thriller videos came out, the driver said, is this the same person? <laughs> Even though they had known him for an extended mm. uh, period of time there, uh, they weren't sure it was the same person because like so many artists, they only fully come to flower when they're performing. And uh, I think, uh, you know, Adam Ant was the same mm. way. The man off stage and the man on stage were different. Michael, who, who loved Adam's coat, <laughs> but is in the long run a much bigger star, has the same type of thing. And that's why, you see, to answer your question, he must perform because he's only himself yes. when he's out on there. On stage.